So it's another beautiful morning on the river and I am really excited about today because we have air conditioning working in the boat. Four out of seven units Jim and I have managed to get running and so Jay and I are going to tackle the master suite after the AC guys come. Yes, more AC guys. Captain Mike is bringing his AC buddy Stan to look and see what we've done and what we need to do to finish off the AC repairs. So come on Jacques, we can't sit around all day. Time to go to work, buddy. Yes, we have another AC specialist coming. Captain Mike is bringing standby who is retired but has been doing boat AC for over 40 years and he wanted to come and take a look and see what we needed to do to get this boat air conditioning up and going. They were considering putting the pumps back under the floor of the engine room where they were originally installed by Hatteras, but I think they've been a little distracted by all the hoses running under the floor. Time for the pump too. I guess it's water. Yeah, that's water. That's, it's got a hydraulic on one side and then water on the other. You think this is water going through this, or is this the low pressure side? That looks like because well, yeah. uh, it goes to the back of this pump. Is it, only you're one? talking about hydraulic return? Yeah, I think so. Because there's only one hydraulic line going to this pump, and there's only one going to this tank. Well, if it's, I'm, I'm guessing this is hydraulic fluid's got to go through here. Don't know, Mike. What? It's not labeled like like it should be. Like it should be. Right. But on the back of this pump, there's only, like I said, it's got this. The other side of the pump. One. One, that one? Yeah. yeah, that's the high pressure pipe. Exactly. So, low, so that's that's the return. Yeah. This one goes up to the engine, whatever that, that could be something to cool something. You know, this goes, turns into a, oh, that one goes up to the engine. This one goes across. Probably to the other engine. Other side cooling something or other because it's got to cool and then this one goes up to behind this yeah but that's in the way i know they're all in the way they're all in the way so next they went into the generator room to look at the units and the relay switches and see what we were going to need to do to finish up that part of the ac system stan was very happy with the plumbing though and the new manifolds. So by the end of their visit, they had a really good idea of everything that had been done and everything that still needed to be done. And they said they would get back to me with a game plan on how to finish up the AC repairs and get the systems fully operational again. So when they were done, a storm was rolling in and I figured this was a really good time to go below and get to work. <laughs> Woo! Go. Look at this mess. Oh my God, still have to chop up a king size mattress and get it the heck out of here. Um, all right, so I am getting ready to start cleaning out drawers so I can start putting my clothes away. I've got a lot of pillows to donate. Still have the drawers out by the rudders because we're still, we got one packed and we got to do the other one next week. He didn't realize that it needed to be done too, so. Those look like sheet things to hold your sheets up. I'm not sure I will. This is some kind of alarm clock. This is so cool. All right, we will have a whole video on that. There's that. And LED lights. I don't know if those are any good. And a whole bunch more junk that isn't even worth mentioning. Well, a little bit of progress. I got the drawers inside clean. I still have to do the outsides. And managed to put a few clothes away. And still have stuff that goes in the closet sitting up here because I have to finish cleaning the closet. That's my comforter up there. I have to strip the, I have to bag up all these pillows to donate. And we have to flip the bed because we accidentally put it on upside down. <laughs> It was late. We were tired. Well, when I pulled the mattress off to flip it, 
I discovered that the frame underneath was filthy, so I had to stop and clean that before I put my brand new mattress on it. Oh, get in that corner. Get in that corner. Okay. Back to the, to the toes, the talented toes. I think I might go get the mop. That seems like a really good thing to do. Because this thing is so gross to me then I am just going to take it off and set it aside and use it as a template um, and I don't know I've also actually thought about buying a real headboard that I could mount there um, so but this thing is really gross so off it goes and it was getting pretty late so I didn't really sit on the aft deck much. I just took the dog for a walk. And on our way back up to the boat we heard this awful noise. This poor guy, his truck was not strong enough to pull his boat out of the water. They were out there for hours and I really hope they didn't damage their truck. Well, it's another beautiful morning on the river, and I am watching the clouds pile up. I can just tell it's going to pour down rain later, which is okay, because I'm going to be down in the master cleaning again. But I am super excited, because the guys are going to get that mattress out of that room today. Finally, the big trash pickup is coming in three days, and we can get rid of that awful thing. I know, I was just thinking that. I'm getting the camera out right now. Okay, but Jay, do not put your shoes on my white blanket. Oh, God. Needed to be done. You could have taken your shoes off, although your feet are probably as gross as your shoes. Yeah, exactly. Your shoes are probably cleaner. I would bet they are. Than your feet, no doubt. Oh, well, I wiped my feet on the towel before I came out. Yeah, that bill just nasty. Uh -huh. yeah, we'll just slide this down. We'll slide this way. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. There we go. Now you got a nice mattress sandwich. All right. That'll do it. That's going to be so much fucking easier. <laughs> And a lot cleaner than chopping it up. See, I have some good ideas every once in a while. Yeah, I'll have to chop it up for it. <laughs> yeah, that, chopping it up was not my idea. That was Dodd's idea. Sound cool? So, I wasn't a big fan of chopping it up either. Hell no, you don't want that shit. Yeah, that should slide pretty easy. More or less. Yeah. All right. The fun part is going to be the stairs. <laughs> yeah, they came down. So the guys muscled the mattress up and out, and I went to work cleaning on the master bedroom. So we'll see if the fabuloso and little scrubby will get that. And it will not. So guess what I brought? Goo gone. Best stuff in the world for crap like this literally the best stuff in the world so so we're gonna squirt a little goo gone right here Let's 
massage them in. And a little more on that end part. Whoops. Just let it sit for a minute. I have no idea what I am scrubbing off of here. The Dugan is helping. Oh, you know what? It looks like it might be old adhesive. Because there's some over there, too. And don't ask me why this matters under the cushion. I'm just That one doesn't bother me so much because it's obvious it's adhesion. This one bothered me because it just looked like poop. <laughs> like, literally like shit. Got squished between the cushion and the, and the wood. I'll get a little of this on that. And we'll massage it in. And then, we're going to let it sit for a minute. So we let it sit for a minute and I went and got this little guy. Ha ha ha, look at that. <laughs> I'm not very patient, but you have to be really careful with these because that is a razor blade and it will screw up your woodwork if you're not gentle. But this goes under the cushion and I don't care. And look at that little bit of nasty we just got off. Works for me. spot. Yeah, that's old adhesion. I may not get that off very easy. It's good enough. Let's see if we can get any more off. Yeah, I don't think, well, maybe a little. Look at that. Okay, so we have cleaned the bench seat good, and throw that up there, we're going to put our goo gone up there, our scraper up there, and then to get the oil off, we'll give it one more round with the Fabuloso, diluted of course. Don't ask me how much I mix in. I'm not really sure. I just do it until I get a nice pretty color and then I'm like, okay, that looks good. <laughs> and I'll just get this to get the oil off and whatever yeah. remains dirt wise, which is obviously some. Um, and then this is good. I don't know what it is with these guys, but they love metal things with fake flowers. So one more bites the dust. Although the little metal thing on the bottom is kind of cool, but we'll probably just donate that. Let's see what else we got up here. Hey, that vase is kind of cool. Everything else in it is kind of gross. So I guess they're making fun of Trump and the Stormy Daniels thing because it says on the front, Sea Dragon survived Stormy Irma and Maria. And then on the back it says, Will Trump survive Stormy Daniels? SS Blow Fun because it's not a job. Anything up in there? Nope, just a lot of dirt. Oh, I don't think I can do it right now. So this is the inside of the bedside table drawer. Yes, that is just total filth. All right, there you have it. Let's see what I can do with that.
So I still have a long way to go, but it is starting to look more like a bedroom that I might actually want to sleep in on a regular basis. So now it's time to relax and unwind, and thanks a lot for watching the video, and hopefully we'll see you again.